Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to quickly show you how to make a stylized hair or fur in Blender. Uh, so first of all, uh, what you want to do is add a path curve. Uh, we'll rotate it and scale it a little bit. Uh, we're going to need uh, a curved circle as well, and we're going to scale it down. Now click on the path curve, head over to the data options on the right hand side, click into geometry and click under bevel object and then select the Bezier circle and it will take the same shape and form as the Bezier circle. So next we need to edit this Bezier circle so we can alter the shape of this path curve. What you want to do is to go to edit, edit mode with tab and grab these anchor points and set handle type to vector. You can add more points by selecting two points and then right click and hit subdivide. It is literally just playing around with this. Now it's time to select the path curve and start to make the air shape. If we press Alt-S, we can affect the scale of this point. So in this case, if we just press Alt-S and then zero, it will create it to a nice point. Just continue to give it a nice hair shape to this path. If you hit Ctrl-T, it will rotate the shape. You can create some really unique looking shapes here. You can also add a mirror modifier to add another hair on the other side of the, of the, the head. We can duplicate this and continue to edit the shape as you're liking. Literally just playing around with how you want to get it to look. It just requires, requires a lot of playing around, a lot of trial and error to get the, the look how you want to create the hair. The most important keys are Ctrl T to rotate the anchor points and Alt S to scale. If you just press S to scale, it will scale the entire thing. Uh, just continue to add more hair to the whole head, play around with the scale and rotation. Uh, if you want to sculpt this, you can convert, convert uh, the path to a mesh and then go into scope mode and play around with it. That was just a quick tutorial on how to make stylized hair. Of course, this was really rough, a rough and quick tutorial. If you liked the video, please click the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And I will keep making more videos. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.